Long way to go, a lot of holes to correct. See how this team already with some heroics on his resume for 2020, a ninth inning home run in their opener for a win and a good start for Leiter with a strikeout to start the day. Three pitches, three strikes, three. On the outside corner with a fastball for strike three. Good location. Yeah, Leiter was able to set up the some early. Leiter strikes out the side. How's that for a start? Two swinging, one looking against Stokes, Montiel, and Wilson. Over to short. Montiel with a chance. Guns it across, but De La Torre can't hang on. And Martin reaches to start the first for Vanderbilt. Davis drags it down the first base side. Not in time. Daly didn't get over to cover the bag quickly enough. Vanderbilt has first and second with nobody out. And that's about as good as a drag bun as you can get from Davis. You watch all three guys converge. Second baseman Daly lagging a little bit to get the first base. Trying to catch the ball and... Duvall ahead in the count. Boswell trying to get a big second out. Lined up the middle. Will get down for a hit. And will bring in the first two runs of the day. Martin followed by Davis. It's 2-0 Vanderbilt and two RBIs for Duvall. There's a solid piece of hitting there by Duvall. The fastball on the outside corner sits back on it. A heck of a base running job by Davis. The throw comes into Daly. He has to hesitate because he doesn't realize that Davis is going to be all the way around from second base to score. Pitcher to make that solid delivery to second. Pop up on the first pitch by Harrison Ray. We'll get South Alabama out of the inning with really a minimum of damage as Ray pops out. Good spot. Boy, Sandal chases away. Three pitches, three strikes. Two gone. Comes with a foul. Another 2-2. Two -two. End of the inning as Powers is called out on strikes. A fly out and two more Ks for Jack Leiter. It's like he's made a whole bunch more college starts than just start number one. Vanderbilt leading 2-0 and an inning half done in Nashville. Payoff to the leadoff man, Daly. Strike three on the corner. He's been able to hit that spot and get the strikeouts. That might have been a little bit generous. Swing and a miss. Leiter, you can do it. Mowing him down. Came out of his sheet. Strike three on the breaking pitch. Another three strikeout inning for Leiter. Only one ball put in play through the first three. Going to the hook. Eight Ks for Leiter. Two nothing Vandy. <laughs> Pulled the tarp because there's a you know, pop up storm. Maybe on a holiday. Line out to center. Off the bat of Isaiah Thomas. Matt Boswell settled in nicely. Right on the inner edge. Stokes out on strike, swinging for the second time. Payoff number two. Pop up left side. Davis right on the line. Got it to end the inning. Circle to make the play. No hits, one left. Vanderbilt two, South Alabama nothing, middle of the four. They're having, they're talking to a lot of scouts. There's just so much access and exposure to these guys that once they get to the college level, it's not really that much different. Tenth strikeout for Leiter, a good battle with Sandal. He wins it with a... He is fantastic on the mound. Another strikeout, that's 11 as he sits down powers for the second time. Jack Leiter done that tonight. Well, he strikes out the side again, all swinging. He got Michael Sandal, Reed Powers, and Dakota Daly. Jack Leiter has been outstanding. Sandal on the breaking pitch. Powers away on the fastball. And Daly to end the fifth. Vanderbilt two, South Alabama nothing. Halfway to.
Had a good opening weekend. Sends this one to shortstop. Throw across by Montiel. Ends the inning. Vanderbilt leaves him loaded. A base hit, three stranded. Still 2-0 Vanderbilt after five. Well, there you go. And some debut for number 22. Commodore fans look forward to a whole bunch more of that. Mm -hmm. Gives way to Thomas Schultz, another freshman right-hander. He's from Mount Carmel, Pennsylvania. Two pitch. Strike three. Schultz picks up for lighter left off. And Davis is called out on strikes to start the sixth. It's such success. 2-2 two -two pitch, two strikeouts for Schultz. A off pitch. End of inning. Seen this movie before. Three hitters, three strikeouts for Thomas Schultz out of the Vanderbilt bullpen. 15 Ks today for Vanderbilt pitching. South Alabama still without a hit. Bottom up. Pulled to the first base side, a play for Daly, and ends the inning. Matt Boswell works out of some trouble. Harrison Ray. And a three-pitch strikeout with a breaking ball to start the seventh. <laughs> and Schultz has not wasted any time. Scorecard that has been littered with strikeouts other than that. Big bouncer Martin playing in the shortstop spot and safe at first for the first hit of the day for South Alabama. Close play. Wilson beats it. And yeah, Martin was played at shortstop on the big shift. I was thinking he was taking a little bit too much time. And indeed he was. And take a look at the play here. Yeah, he was safe. Martin kind of lollygagging, getting the ball out of his glove. A little bit again. Nope. Got him swinging. Away. Yep. That ends the inning. Good job by Schultz to battle back after... Allowing the first hit of the night for South Alabama. An infield hit by Ethan Wilson. South Alabama. Liner toward the gap in left center. Martin has his second hit. Now both in that same spot. Lead off man. Of when some of those older guys get back in, they're able to kind of show Coach Corbin, hey, I deserve to stay in that lineup. And Rodriguez really has done that. Scoring position, Duvall has that hit. Bounces this one to second. They only get one and are probably fortunate to get that many. Daly delivers to Montiel. And now the runner coming home. I think South Alabama thought time was called as Martin came home to score. We'll see if they send him back. And Montiel is injured on the play out at second base. Yeah, regardless, it was a heck of a play by Montiel. The ground ball to Daly. The tag of Rodriguez. He's on the ground. Umpire does not call time. You see Martin heads up all the way. Scores from second. Another 2-2 two -two pitch. To short. Inning over as Montiel makes the play. He went back to that breaking ball and strikes out Daly for the second out. Batting for Alden Davis with two outs in the eighth. A golf this one out towards short. Play by Young, close at first, and Jones holds the base to end the inning. Let's make it look easy. Throwing hard. 2 2 pitch. Served out to left. That'll be the second hit of the day and a good start to the ninth inning for South Alabama. We saw a little piece of hitting there by Quinn. He was back on Friday to start the season. Rolls over to the right side. A play made by Jones gets to the base. Quinn advances one out. RBIs in the opening weekend. Strikes out here for the second out of the ninth. 0 2 pitch coming up to Wilson. Fly ball. Short left. Davis. And Vanderbilt wins 3-0 over South Alabama. Power stuff from a pair of freshman right-handers. Jack Leiter for the first five hitless and Thomas Schultz for the last four. Those guys were excellent. 19 strikeouts and only two hits today.
Yeah, pretty unbelievable. Offensively, not really much to show for either team, but all the Commodores had to do was get a couple runs. As you mentioned, the pitching performance by Leiter and Schultz was lights out. Really exciting for this Commodore bullpen and see what happens the rest of the year.